not just one barn, but a uh, whole group of them, and that one was wearing an ox pecker as a hat. That makes for quite a nice hat, don't you think? I was just completely intrigued by that sight sighting we just had of that big bull giraffe who came sort of storming in. You know what I think happened is I think that he was walking through the drainage line, and that's not this giraffe that we're looking at. This is a, this is a female. And I think he must have been walking below uh, Gallagher Camp. It's actually quite open. The Timboiti trees are quite tall on the, on the edge of that drainage line, which will leave a nice space for him to walk through. It's also lovely and cool down there. It was quite warm at some point today. And then he got himself tangled, which was hilarious to watch. And he couldn't get himself out, and he obviously panicked a bit. We were quite far away from him, and so he just stormed out. That was so wonderful to watch a giraffe. Uh, breaking trees down and then we've got a trio of youngsters all standing staring in the distance I reckon that they're looking back at that giraffe bull and I'm sure he's going to make his way up here now a moment ago we were looking at that cow and I think that she could be pregnant just her memory glands are starting to look slightly full and she's got quite a round sort of belly on her so I wonder if that big bull is maybe quite intrigued by this female. Perhaps she's, uh, well, oozing all types of hormones and he might be quite excited by that. But they're definitely all staring and you can see that she's doing a thousand mile stare, looking straight down towards him. That branch breaking gave all these giraffe a big fright. They were charging out uh, of the thicket and they've now moved out into the open, which has worked out in our favor. And there's an oxpecker, yes. If you start pecking about in places that you shouldn't be, you're going to find yourself in a bit of trouble. You're going to get shaken off, little ox picker. Oh, let me turn the right radio down. But it's busy feeding. We've actually been seeing lots and lots of ox pickers on, on all the different antelopes, from the kudu to the impalas that we have passed, and now the giraffe. I love it when they are covered in ox pickers. There don't seem to be too many here, just a few of them. It looks like each giraffe has its own ox picker at the moment. Isn't that just so lovely? Such tall, beautiful creatures. Look, what are you looking for? You're getting all the delicious, tasty bits there. That's quite nice. Oh, that poor ox picker just wants a meal. Here we go, yes. Have a look on the ossicones. Maybe there'll be something around there. I don't know if there'd be too many ticks on the Yossi cones, but they make for a great perch, though, for that ox picker, don't you think? Just had enough of that nonsense. Or if it flies onto its next target. So we can only see four, five, I think there's about five giraffe here. Yeah, there may even be a few more. It's just very hard to tell because it is so thick around here. And I don't know if they've had a drink yet today. Has anybody seen them on the dam cam at all? If you have, you can let us know. Hashtag Safari Live. I know just after dry finish, some Duggar boys, some Buffalo Bulls came down to have a drink. But I don't recall seeing any screenshot, screenshots, sorry, of the, uh, of the giraffe. So they've been hiding around for most of the day. And now the wind is starting to pick up too. I think it might be a chilly day tomorrow. All the clouds have now disappeared, so just blue skies for us which means nothing to keep the warmth in a little bit later, unless this wind does blow in some clouds too. They're standing so quietly too. Just staring. We'll see if we can go see that big bull again. He was impressive. We have a question from James this afternoon, and that is, what species of trees, other than the knob thorn, do the, the sort of, uh, well, what trees rely on the giraffe? Sorry, that's what I'm actually trying to get at. So it's most of the acacia trees. Um, obviously, there's different types of acacias in various areas of South Africa and Africa in general. Up here, the knob thorn is one of the most common, but then there are a couple of smaller species, but we don't really see them around here. Hello, big girl. I would say, what else do they feed on? everything they eat bush willows they eat many different types of these they eat marula leaves oh, i'm just trying to keep out of the shot here she's just walked right in front of the car haven't really seen them eating too much on the guari trees but they're very high in tannins 
right off the bat they don't taste very nice Got those hooves there we go now you can see how powerful they are now you can also see what the underside of giraffe's foot looks like very nice senzo that's not a shot that we get to see very often oh here come the running youngsters yes you all got a spring in your step don't you don't want don't want to be left behind and these two look like they've gained all the ox peckers now <laughs> the animals out here don't gain weight they gain birds That's so beautiful. Now, Tom, you're wondering if oxpeckers eat anything else besides ticks. You know what they're actually feeding on, Tom, is blood. That's their favorite thing. And, of course, so they'll eat on, uh, feed on any parasites that are, are feeding on blood. So sometimes what they also do is they, they're not only good for the animals in terms of grooming them and helping them rid them of their parasites, but they can be a pest too, especially... If I can go up further forward again, especially if an animal has got an injury, a gash of some sort, and it is oozing blood, oxpeckers are known to constantly keep feeding it at it, and they prevent a scab from forming and the blood from coagulating. And sometimes it's not a good thing, especially if it's a serious wound. Infection is quite real out here in the bush, though the animals are very tough, so they can be a nuisance at times. Most of the time they're not. I don't know where that big bull has gone. I think he's slowly making his way through the thicket. Mm, no, I actually don't know. Okay. We'll have one last look at these giraffe, but they're now disappearing. We go forward. They're disappearing off into the thicket. Oh, I don't know if we're going to really see them. It's quite an obstructed view. There they go. Well, this is quite a good question, something I'm not too sure of, but I can have a look. And it's a question from R. Beard. You're wondering if oxpeckers have a sort of territory and just uh, move around when the animals that pass through, or do they follow specific herds? I'm actually going to have to open my app very quickly as you watch these uh, giraffe disappear into the thicket. They're now going, well, in well, very, very dense spots. So we're going to lose visual of them quite soon. Let me go to oxpecker. Let's go red build because those are the most common ones. And let's just quickly have a look here at their sort of general habits if it mentions anything about anything about well the question. No. I don't know if Oxpeckers are territorial at all. This is a tough one. Good question, Arbia. We'll have to do some research. I have another extensive bird book. I just don't have it with me now. Mm. No, it doesn't. It doesn't say. I don't know, though. It's a tough one because, you know, if they're not breeding, they don't need to live in the same nest at all. They could just use any cavity from any tree that they're bypassing as long as it's not uh, inhabited already on the